Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to add CSS for WooCommerce specific category in WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. Now we are in product category plants, and we are going to target specific categories, and we are going to add CSS. Now go to dashboard. On left side, you see plugin. So click on add new. So we are going to add plugin. Then in search plugin, write WP code. So this is plugin WP code. Insert header and footer we will use. So you will install this plugin and activate it. And after activation, scroll down. On left side, you see code snippet. Then you see add snippet. So click on it. Then you see add your custom code. So again click on it. Now first we are going to open product category page. On left side you see product, and then you see categories. So click on it. Now go to product category page and scroll down. You see product category, and then you see slug. Now back to edit code. Now you see create custom snippet section open. Scroll down. You can add title here. Then you see code preview. On right side you see code type. Drop down select PHP snippet. Now we are going to paste code. And you will find this code in video description or in comment section. Now in code you see function name, my body classes, and then you see category slug plants. Now go to product category page, and now you see slug. So you can add category according to your requirement. Now back to edit code. Now you see we added plants category slug, and scroll down you see custom CSS class. Now you see my class hyphen plants. So this is our custom CSS class, and we are going to target specific category by using this class. Now scroll down, you see return classes, and then you see our function name, my body classes, and you will find this code in video description or in comment section. Now scroll down, you see insert method auto insert location run everywhere on top. You see inactive now active, and then click on save snippet. Now snippet created and save. And scroll down in code. You see my custom CSS class. By using this class, we are going to target plant category. Now go to page. Now this is our product category plants. So we are going to change color of this title. Now right click on it and then click on inspect. So we are going to find CSS class for this title. Now you see product title. Now back to edit code. On left side you see appearance and then you see customize. So we are going to add custom CSS. Now go to customize section and now you see additional CSS. So click on it. Now we are going to add CSS. Now add class. Now you see my class hyphen plants and then go to page. So this is class product title. Copy and paste here dot product title. In custom CSS, you see dot my class hyphen plants. So this is custom CSS class. We created this class by using code, and this is our product title class. Now we are going to change color and increase font size. Now click on publish. Now go to product category page and refresh the page. Now scroll down, you see our font size increase. But color not change, so this is our link. Now back to custom CSS, and then you see product title. Now add a mean hypertext reference, and then click on publish. Now go to product category page and refresh the page. Now you see color is change. Now go to another category. Now click on candles. Now scroll down, you see. Font size and font color not change. Now back to plant category. We only target plant category by using code. We created custom CSS class. Now here you see. Now back to edit code, and you'll find all code and CSS in video description or in comment section. Back to edit code. If you want to target another category, first copy this code. And now paste. Now in code you see function name, my body classes, and we already use this function name. That's why we are going to change name. Now add four. So this is our new function name. 
and then you see category slug so you can add your category slug here and then scroll down you see classes so you can change class name according to your requirement and now scroll down you see again function name so again add 4 here so our new function name is my body classes 4 now you see here so you can use this code multiple times just change function name category slug and then class and now change name here now go to customize section and now you see format so this is our custom css class and then you can add any css class you want to change so you can add style according to your requirement so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching